they say that men grow older but they don't really grow up and that's why the term midlife crisis is actually a thing what if you're a 40 year old man and looking for fun but not too childish there's also a strict budget that comes into play because your wife actually wants that new Hyundai I'll say hello to G3 Tenor The G310R is a bike which has been made in collaboration with TVS and has been co-developed by the RR310. But does that make it just a TVS with a BMW badge? Absolutely not. BMW has made great efforts in making this bike look the part. And as you can see, it looks like a proper BMW family member. From the side, you can see design cues from S1000R Super Naked with muscular tank and sharp fenders. Okay, so this bike is equipped with a neat looking 5-spoke alloy wheels and a 43mm inverted front fork which is colored golden like the S1000R. Whereas the Duke 390 looks like a teenager's dream bike, the BMW 310R is a very handsome, rather more classier bike. Sometimes a motorcycle isn't always meant for performance and that's where the GT10R comes into place. BMW obviously isn't looking for 40 year olds drive, driving this bike but is also getting into a huge market of 300cc bikes. The BMW has a 313cc liquid-cooled engine that makes 34 PS and 28 Nm of torque. But this bike isn't only about the grunt, but it's also about the amazing ride quality. The front forks and the rear monoshocks soak up bumps really beautifully and they really make the G310R a class apart in terms of comfort. And also, since this is a naked, it means the sitting position is upright and ideal for everyday use. We really like how the engine feels peppy with a strong mid-range. Keep the engine revs about 6000 rpm and you will have more than enough juice for quick overtakes without needing to shift down the 4th or the 5th gear. Build quality is where BMW truly shines. Each and every panel seems to be fitted with absolute precision and is a very sturdy machine. The BMW gets a negative display instrument cluster. It has a very racy rev meter and displays sufficient amount of information. The material used on the single piece set makes it ideal to use it for longer journeys. The braking is via a single 300mm front disc clamped with radially mounted clippers and 240mm rear disc. It gets dual channel ABS as a standard. Now I know the GT10R will be on the pricier side with uh, the price costing up to 2.99 lakhs ex showroom. But wouldn't you buy shoes would, which would be very comfortable for you even though they're pricey? Like the Adidas NMDs. Now compared to the Duke 390 which is a normal running shoes, you would obviously pay more for more comfortable shoes, right? And that is exactly what the 310R is. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked the video, you could like, share and subscribe to our channel. Thank you Madhurat Pune for making this video possible and giving us the bike. Thank you.